decades. All right, John, we have our next guest, Jeff Gruden. Uh, Gruden, sorry, who's the director of marketing for desktops and thin clients for the business desktop group and the personal systems group at Hewlett Packard. We were just talking about HP. Jeff, I heard that. Good to meet <laughs> okay. you. Okay. Well, I'm glad I was saying some nice things and about HP. And you have desktop in your title too, so you, I don't know if you heard our previous guest, David well, actually, Moxie. They actually make desktops. Yeah, uh, so, that's you know, true. And so that's tablets legit. and phones. Um, thin clients, that's another good good name that we've uh, yeah well Dave, we're talking about around. HP uh, you know HP um, we like HP we're big fans of HP but we're also very skeptical around the consolidation messaging coming out of the company obviously we're going to be watching that closely we know the new CEOs are taking the helm some executives recently have left so we, we want to see <laughs> HP get back on track because we think HP has all the assets mm -hmm. in the tool chest to, to be successful and obviously being in the desktop business and the notebook business for years, you guys are no stranger to what's going on in the trends of consumer electronics. And we're going to be at HP Discover. We're looking forward to that event. Um, we got the cube there. You know, so a lot of good guests coming on. So, yeah, we, we, we follow HP very closely. And it's a company with so a So we won't charity. ask you about the tablet because I'm sure you will get so many questions. But <laughs> the question about tablets that we're going to ask is, you know, you're talking about thin clients, you're talking about an operating system, talking about cloud operating systems. You guys obviously bought Palm and integrating that into the organization. Virtualization is an interesting technology, and Dave and I were talking about the nomenclature between server virtualization, desktop virtualization. It's kind of confusing. Who has what level of virtualization? Mm -hmm. It's crazy confusing, but the bottom line is virtualization helps create more resources for abstracting away complexities. And you know, with Apple coming out with the iPad, it's pretty proprietary closed, Android is open, um, and you guys have WebOS. You know, there's a role for multiple operating systems and a device down the road. So, I mean, so what's your perspective of HP and this whole edge-based, you know, device with virtualization? Yeah, we, you know, HP is in a unique, unique position and you know, an advantage position because we 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 have we have all the devices. <laughs> uh, you know, so the you know the trick though, obviously, is how do you how do you bring together the experience. Yeah. You know the, the optimized experience. Uh, you know across all those devices, and and you know bring that together over time. Now you know so you know as it pertains to WebOS, it's not you know in my domain, but I think our execs have been pretty clear that the the strategy certainly will be to you know broaden the appeal and the and you know the, where we have WebOS applied. Um, what, now, what division are you in? Was that PSG? <clears throat> yes, yeah, so I'm part of the personal systems group. personal systems group. Yep, like and I, I manage the uh, the commercial. Uh, desktop devices, specifically the desktops and the and the thin clients. Yeah, that's the, P, the, the traditional PCs and yep, so on. Exactly. So HP. Yesterday we went over the and this morning we went over the, the key mega trends in the industry from our editorial <coughs> yeah. perspective. And I'll just go down the list and I'll put a check marks next to where HP dominates. Um, mega trend one: the deployment of ubiquitous IP networks. Check. You guys mm -hmm. play there. Yep. ESSN. You bet. You have three com. Your Kicking butt there, mm -hmm. doing it for years. Just lost well. the, uh, our man, Marius Haas. So we <laughs> wish him well. <laughs> we know Marius. Been on the, he's a Cube alumni, as well as Dave Donatelli, yeah. who's still there um, at the moment. Um, it's, it's, <laughs> trend two, expansion of networked consumer electronics. Check. You know, connection. So. You, got, you, you have consumer electronics. They are networked. Yeah. You sell networking. You got it. Yeah, so check. You agree. Uh, move towards unified communications. Mm, I wouldn't say check there, but unified communications being voice. Not just voice of IP, yeah. but you know what Skype's doing with Microsoft and so on. Probably Maybe. more of an integrator role, but yep. Yeah, you play yeah, there. Our, yeah, we play not, there. Our devices will do it. Yeah, not a check. It's, it's, you know, yeah. thumbs up, but not a check plus. Yeah, agree. Um, advancement of highly scalable, low cost compute, cloud. We're doing. You sell it. blades. <laughs> We're You're doing it. Yep. Check plus. Um, convergence of networks, compute, and storage. That's the, That's the convergence mm -hmm. play. Check. Uh, and then obviously the last trend was about the economic recovery. So HP. And you forgot uh, kick-ass imaging. Yeah. Well, that's no, that's not a mega trend. That's just kind of commodity. But no, but in those mega trends in the cloud, those are cloud-related trends. Mm -hmm. HP has a major position in all of them. So, what's the plan? And what's the what? A, uh, share with the consumers out there. You know how HP views that. I mean, you're in a good position. What's happening? Mm -hmm. What's coming? Yeah. So, I, you know, I can I can answer that best from you know the areas of the business that I'm responsible for, and I you know I put my energy in, which is. Uh, you know, you know, commercial commercial devices, and you know, through, by extension, some of the consumerization of IT yeah. trends that have been you know talked about this week. Um, you know, so from a commercial devices, you know, obviously, our you know, our focus is on uh, making the best devices that can connect to to whatever you need to connect to. Whether you're connected to the cloud, whether you're connected to the web, you're connected to server-based computing. You know, you're connected to your private cloud, your public cloud, doesn't matter. You know, our, you know, our objective on the, on the client side is, is make those devices, um, 
you, you know, have a great experience, whatever you're connecting to. And I, and I, but I think the over the horizon, you know, the vision is, is, is how do you make those different devices also connect to, to each other? in a common way, and whether they're connecting to each other through some proximity experience, mm -hmm. like you walk up to your PC with a tablet and you can flip the app you were working on or the document you're, at, you know, you're working on to the other device, you know, or, or that uh, you get that experience through going through the cloud. Hey, maybe it's uh, you know, my HP documents, and it sits up in the cloud, and whether you're on your tablet, you're on your phone, you're on your PC, you're on your thin client, you can access those documents from all those devices in a, in a, in a very consistent way. You know, so, that's, so that's that's the vision. I mean, the vision you know from Leo and others is you know it's it's about connectivity, uh, and it's about the infrastructure side, which we we have a lot of investments in, and yeah. then it's about the uh, you know the, the device side as well. Yeah, and you got to support the, all the new software and these the app craze. Everyone's talking about mm -hmm. that. And and Dave, we're going to be at HP Discover. We're going to actually be the Cube was coming all right. to HP Discover right next to the bathroom. Right. <laughs> yeah, we got Pro we prime real estate. We snuck our way in there. <laughs> well, we got we got a corner. We'll we'll, we'll we'll have some good audience there. Trust but me. We'll, we're we'll, gonna we're gonna we'll, scour HP Discover. But I mean, HP Discover is not a. Um, Consumer electronics event, from what I understand, right? It's good. This is all about mm -hmm. HP's role with innovation and the enterprise mm -hmm. consumerization of IT. So, with with HP, explain to the folks. Just tell us a little bit about some of the tech involved in making a thin client work. I mean, thin client is kind of an older term from the old sure. days, as is desktop, but it means a lot different things now. Can you explain? Uh, sure. Let's talk a little bit about your relationship with Citrix as well. I mean, I know you're. Probably the world, you sell more VMware licenses than anybody. I would imagine you sell a lot of Citrix as well. Uh, yeah, I don't know what the number yeah. is, but uh, yeah, it's, significant. Big, right? it's fair to say it's a big number. Yeah, so <laughs> roll a Citrix and, and, and as well, John's question, if you will. Okay, well, let, me, let me start with the thin clients, yeah, and I'll great. roll that into kind of what we do with Citrix. So, you know, thin clients kind of got their start from, you know, green screen terminals where, you know, you, you didn't want to have stuff running locally, and you were just accessing some yeah. application. And obviously, uh, I can tell you the, you know, the trends on thin clients have, are certainly trending towards much more performance at the endpoint. And that's you know, very specifically because instead of just doing a green screen terminal app, uh, application, now you're trying to replicate entire desktops in the cloud and stream down all of that experience down locally, which m means it's not just, um, it's not just DOS-based screens and, and, uh, and, and text anymore, it's video, it's webcast, it's streaming, uh, it's you know, all kinds of multimedia. And so the, the ability to, to uh, have these still very secure, very manageable, no moving parts devices is you know, still very, very attractive. But the, the market for them is just exploding because we're moving from just doing a few applications to doing tens of thousands and there's customers we're working with that have hundreds of thousands of seats that they want to go move to this paradigm. And to do that, you can't just move your 5K guys that are doing a single DOS-based application. You need to move hundreds, 100,000 guys that do PowerPoint, Excel, uh, video, yeah. you know, multi, all that sort of stuff. So, uh, you know, the level of performance we're seeing at the endpoint is is going up dramatically because of all that. Um, the, the other side of it is thin clients still need to be managed. So the this other trend towards zero client computing, and we launched some new products uh, today, two, two new zero clients. We call them smart clients um, that let you. Get that whole experience. Was that a joint release with Citrix? Was that uh, individual HP? It, it was our release, but the, these both of these uh, smart clients are heavily optimized for for HDX. And again, back to your, you know, how we work with Citrix is, you know, all of our clients, and particularly these two smart clients, are very much optimized and designed, you know, to, to work, you know, extremely uh, well in a in a Zen app or Zen desktop environment. So the performance at the endpoint. Hold on. What, so the smart client was one. What was the other announcement? Uh, there's, there was two, two smart clients. Okay. And that was one announcement. We also uh, launched a new mobile uh, thin client, uh, long battery life, um, aluminum frame. Because we're also seeing this, uh, as you can see from all the devices on stage today. Yeah, this, you know this drive towards mobility. Um, so it's a web OS. Um, it's uh, no, it's actually a Windows embedded okay. standard. So one, a Microsoft embedded operating system uh, a device. Um, you know, web OS. You know, it's reasonable to expect to see it on this class of device over time, but. Uh, that's, uh, you know, right now WebOS is still targeted so and focused on the, you know, the tablets and phones. So, Jeff, when you talk about performance at the endpoint, does that imply n not so thin clients or thinner clients, but not super thin clients? Yeah, uh, it's, that it's a good question. I think you need to separate the hardware from the software. Um, the hardware is getting, is clearly getting richer, mm -hmm. although our, our thin clients are still fanless, no moving parts, no hard drive. So all of the, 
reliability, security value props are still there. Um, but uh, w so the hardware, I would say, is in some cases is getting thicker, but the software is actually getting thinner. Yeah, but Which the disks aren't spinning in the hardware, so you, you well, probably remember the old remember the old desktop management task force days back in the mm -hmm. old PC days when manageability was a big thing. You guys essentially automate that entire process right, right now. So that's I mean that's we've evolved from yeah, you know, but it's still you know P PCs you, you're managing whatever dozens of gigabytes right of stuff. Yeah, thin clients you're maybe managing uh, one gigabyte. Stuff. It's yeah, all okay. cloud. So you're all SaaS, all cloud. So you're talking about a lot of the innovations is in software. Yeah. Right? And, but a zero client, you're really managing zero gigabytes of stuff on the endpoint because you you pull the, the the small OS that might run and you really run you have it resident on a server, and then you, you can take a new thing a new zero client out of the box, out of the cardboard, plug it in, turn it on. It'll pull down its software and again, John. What uh, I got? What does that do for storage? I mean, it just must be a mess. <laughs> uh, you know, d d this the cloud storage provider is bulking up. <laughs> Honestly, it doesn't. The, the the OS part it doesn't it doesn't have any impact on storage at all because you have one golden image OS, which is again, no spindles. It's all solid state, right? I mean, well, well we're, back, we're talking about the zero client. The yeah, zero but still, client. zero client. You're pushing everything to the server, right? Let's separate the, the software from the data. Yep. Okay? So the, the, the OS is one gigabyte. Okay? And it's not one for everything client. There's one. So you can have 10,000 zero clients. Running off of that one gig and image. And when they turn on, it just pulls down its image, and then the image runs locally. So it's very, very small. Got it. Okay, on, on I got it. Real thin. Yep. Yeah, now, yeah. data is a different story. If you don't have a hard drive. Yeah, you need the data. The data is going to be back there. But this doesn't you know, create any kind of storage um, you know, footprint. Um, by moving to the zero model, the zero client model, but yeah. that's the way it should yeah. be. I mean, yeah. that's I mean, if you look at your hard disk and whether it's Mac or PC, you say, you know, it's all hidden files anyway. I mean, think, think about your your but, phone. But you know, there may be uh, whatever phone you carry, there may be five million of them out there, right? And the way the OS gets, you don't know that the OS gets updated. Just yeah. someday they'll Google, push down the an Chrome, OS. the CR forty eight. I got one when Google announced that because yeah. we were part of the media tour. Um, they were doing the same thing. They were they were powering the OS. Actually, it was Android yeah. and Chrome. But they don't have an, they don't have a different. They OS. don't. They're not doing it like you guys. They're yeah. they taking all that way behind you guys. In terms okay, of but that. Jeff, well, now, but what about the data model? Um, how do you see that evolving? Is that well, it, well, hmm. clearly, look, I think the data model, the data model is it's more powerful when it's in the cloud. There's no question about it. Um, particularly, in our view, I think similar to Citrix's view is people are going to have multiple devices, and whether that device is a PC and a tablet and a phone or a laptop, a tablet, and a phone, or a tablet and a phone, uh, you can have multiple devices. And it, the ability to, to kind of roam, that data roaming kind of capability that, was, that uh, Mark talked about at the keynote is exactly where I think the data is going, is um, if you want to have access to that data from all your devices, the only way you're going to get there in a you know elegant way, anytime, anywhere way, is if that data is up. That's a great, I mean, that's a great message. Everyone wants that. Okay, I mean, but so I can get there today with email, mm -hmm. right? Yep. Kind of works with email. Right. So it's that type of experience, maybe even a little exactly. bit better yep. with all apps, correct, yep. and all data. Yep. Yep. Okay. Um, and, you know, whether there's going to be companies that, that insource it and have that, you know, store all that data themselves, and or there's going to be others that use, you know, public. So I guess what I was getting to is that that workload model changes, right? Because I, as, a, as a laptop user or even as a, a mobile user, the, the workloads that I utilize locally are going to be different than what I'm used to on a server-based or even a cloud-based model. And what are you seeing there in terms of architectures to actually promote that type of, of, of model, that cloud-based model that you're talking about? Well, is yeah, is I, it working today? Well, I think, you know, I think we're, we're, we're just at the very sort of tip of that, uh, you know, of that model. But, but again, Mark showed a good, great slide, which we agree with, which is the, um, uh, what is it, the snack, the meal, and the, the create. I, I can't quite remember the, the right. terms you used. But, but I, I think, you know, I think devices, people will use devices, um, will use devices in different ways based on the size of the screen, the size of the keyboard. Um, I think less so on the size of the local processing. You know, I think that's one of the, the, the paradigms that will, I, do, I think, will change. Is What's your advice to Citrix, I mean, or mm -hmm. mainly Citrix? Because um, mm -hmm. it's a pretty impressive stat. We've talked about um, 
thousands of Macs and PCs that Citrus Receiver works on, 149 smartphones, 37 tablets, 1 billion devices supported. We had some commentary coming in uh, from the web, and also I asked them about you know, parity feature support across you know, Win32 and mm -hmm. Linux, and also they have the Apple kind of like emu uh, envy going on with, with the whole app thing. I mean, you got <laughs> you got to support a boatload of mm -hmm. devices, yep. and they got a developer community. <laughs> it reminds me of some of the things Nokia mm -hmm. went through with their phone browser. I mean, it's hard, right? So, you guys have been doing this for so many years at HP. Are they taking on too much? Does virtualization make it less mm -hmm. complex? Um, how do they successfully execute in that market? Yeah, you know, I, I think they're on the right track. You know, I think I think the keys for emerging developing markets kind of the way these are are really get really intimate with your customers so you're doing stuff that adds value so fo you know focus your energy on things that your customers will value and pay for and need and then and then similarly uh, get really intimate with you know with the partners that sort of you need you need to help develop that ecosystem and so if you know if we sit down together and say hey we, we could do 100 things we only got resources for 10 between you know partners and customers, you know what are, what are the ten that's gonna you know you know knock the first ten off the Pareto that you know most impactful to you know delivering on this you know this vision that I think Citrix has and you know I think HP has okay. as well. We're here live at uh, Synergy 2011. We're here at Moscone West with Jeff Gruden of HP, uh, Director of Marketing for a Desktop Thin Client. Uh, Jeff, thanks very much for coming Good on the cube. Great, and, great and to see you. Just a reminder, folks out there.